everyone welcome to my channel tech and art hope you guys doing good today i'm going to discuss about how you can successfully transfer the sql server login for the migration project so if you are a part of migration projects if you are doing a migration so there is a big challenge how we can successfully transfer all the logins from the legacy to target so in this session i'm going to discuss with you in details how we can achieve this goal okay so please be with me and before starting the session i will request to each and everyone whoever newly joined on my channel don't forget to press the sub subscribe button and press the bell icon so when you press the bell icon then only you will get the new video notification okay so let me start quickly so basically when we are doing any migration so after restoring the database on a target we have another goal to achieve successfully all the logins transfer okay so this is the one of the common interview question also for the migration areas how we can achieve you know the logins transfer from the legacy to target so all the people's normally we are saying okay we can use the you know script and transfer the script uh, to execute the script to on a target instance but if suppose there are huge logins like 200 logins so how you can go manually take the script each logins and execute the script on target that is time taking process okay then the point is okay we can uh, use the rev logins uh, it's a very good idea we can use the rev logins and uh, we can take the all the scripts in a one shot and you can execute on a target instance that's uh, very very helpful actually we are doing that way only but the point is here does the rev logins really considering the server level, level roles so the mostly we are saying during the interview also we can use the rev logins but they want to check whether you have a in details knowledge about transferring the logins or not because rev logging is not considering all the sql server server level roles okay they will give you the script for creation of logins you can execute on a target logins will be create but what about the server level roles so i will share with you how we can achieve this goal let me go to manage studio i will share this script to you guys you can utilize it this is the very very helpful script okay once you execute this script on your legacy sql server instance what it will give you can see right now let's assume this is my legacy sql server instance where i am going to take the all the logins details and i will take this logins and i will target to on a transfer uh, on a target machine and i will inst you know execute on a target sql server instance so let me execute this script first if you will execute what it will give you the output the command completed successfully now i am going to call this store procedure okay i will call this store procedure sp help revlogging db and this will give you the nice details for the logins if you can execute now see the logics if you execute the rev logging details rev logging query that will give you only for the creation of login script details so you can take this script copy with header in excel or whatever or notepad and you can transfer to your target sql server instance you can execute but this will create only the logins so normally what we rev logging is giving the creation of only the login so what about the server level roles so this script will give you the server level roles also so after executing the you know the creation of logging script you need to execute on a target server all the server level roles so whatever the logins having the specific server role granted on a legacy the same level server level roles will be apply on a target machine so don't forget whenever you do any migration to apply the server level roles okay normally if you execute the only the rev logging that will only create the you know the login whatever logins is present on a legacy but they will not grant the server level roles so take this roles permission also and execute it on a target machine so well that's it i want to highlight these things only this is the common question in an interview also they are asking how we can you know take the uh, 
SQL Server logging. If you are doing the migration, so how we are, we are transferring the logins. So go to serve, uh, logins and right click escape and take manually. That is the worst process. Don't say like that. You can say like that. I can utilize the rev logins along with the server level roles. Don't forget to say along with the server level roles because they are want to check whether you have a complete knowledge or not. Because rev logging only giving the you know creation of logging script. But you must need to apply the server level roles. Okay. So I will share this script. You can also utilize it. Well, that's it for today. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. I will meet you soon. Thank you, guys.